Well, Natalie Gray's at Snettersham in West Norfolk, where the 60 chicks will be released. Natalie looks lovely. Tell us more. Yes, this is a beautiful part of the world and it's hoped the eagles will make their home in the woodland behind me and feed in the sea, which is just a short swoop away. Now, we're used to red kites and buzzards flying overhead here in East Anglia and they're going to be about twice the size of a buzzard, so quite a sight. But as you can imagine, these big birds are ruffling quite a few feathers, as I've been finding out. Majestic and graceful Britain's biggest bird of prey. These pictures from Scotland where they were successfully reintroduced in the 70s, followed by the Isle of Wight and soon West Norfolk where 60 juvenile white-tailed eagles will be released over 10 years here at Wild Ken Hill. A few centuries ago there could have been a thousand pairs possibly in this region uh, that roamed the skies uh, and roamed these wonderful areas of the wash behind us. They're an apex predator. They're absolutely vital uh, to clear up carrion, to control the whole ecosystem around us. If, like me, you were brought up with Sesame Street, you'll know all about big birds. And this eagle has the widest wingspan of all eagles, as wide as this barn door. Lloyd Park has joined the rewilding and conservation project in Norfolk, having been successfully part of the team to reintroduce ospreys at Rutland Water. And he's just as excited. This is a massive leap forward for conservation. This is a bird that should be here and should be in this landscape. And to bring them back after an absence of over 200 years in the UK is just an amazing, amazing experience. Heacham Bottom Farm is the only place in Norfolk you'll find beavers. They also have Exmoor ponies, redpole cattle, Tamworth pigs, and the habitat has encouraged the return of rare turtle doves. But sea eagles are a step too far, say the NFU in East Anglia, a region that produces so much of the country's pigs, poultry and sheep. They're very big birds. They require, uh, I think, three kilograms uh, of of, of meat uh, every day uh, and, and, and that that is going to be sourced from the local environment you know that's that's nature um, uh, and, and that's going to be from our livestock um, or it's going to be from wildlife. But the team here say the eagles largely feed on fish and there haven't been any incidents with the 13 birds released on the Isle of Wight. Well, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Tim McCrill, who is an eagle expert. Tim, I've been attacked by a seagull in Norwich. Have I now got to worry about sea eagles? No, you definitely don't need to worry about that. You were absolutely right in that they are these really spectacular birds with this eight foot wingspan flying barn doors. But they're also birds that like to be inconspicuous in the landscape. So they're satellite tagged, or the birds that will release are satellite tagged. And we know from past experience that they spend about 95% of their time perched every day. And they just like to find a quiet woodland somewhere, probably overlooking water, and just sit and watch what's going on. So although they are this amazing bird, and you might see that suddenly they're going to be swooping everywhere, that's just not the case. OK. You, if you look on the internet, you will see these birds with lambs in their talons. So clearly, they do like a baby lamb. Will they also take a dog? What do you say about people who'd be worried about all things like that? No, there's no need to worry because we've, we've looked at these uh, cases very, very carefully. Um, we've taken an evidence-based approach with a really detailed feasibility study. We've looked at how the birds are living in uh, lowland Europe in places like Helsinki. They're breeding just in the city centre of Helsinki on the outskirts of Rotterdam, outskirts of Hamburg. And now, of course, there's the population on the Isle of Wight. And what we're seeing in those areas where there's an abundance of natural food, there, are, there is just no conflict with, with farming and, and they fit into the landscape really, really well. Well, let's hope you're right. Thank you so very much. And just a reminder that the chicks will start coming here next summer. Natalie and Tim, thank you very much indeed for that.